How's it going, gang? Welcome to the Million on Mars Tea Shop. Not only are we having a cup of tea today, but a little bite of a scone. We're going to be working out all of the things that you can do in the tea shop in Million on Mars. Looking at the ones that are profitable, looking at the ones that aren't probably worth your time. Is it worth investing in a tea shop? We're finding out today. Now, tea shop. Now, most of you will know I'm a big fan of the of, of making coffee in Million Mars. It's such a good way to to make dust. Um, still is actually. Um, we can go back and watch the the coffee video that I made before. Still very relevant. Um, but today we're looking at the tea shop. It's like a different drink. I do love a cup of tea. I actually prefer it to coffee in real life. But nonetheless, we're not we're not concerned about that. We're concerned about how you make stuff with this building here. And before we kick off, a bit of background, I guess. So this this building came into play during um, the Lunar New Year, so the Chinese New Year back in February. And these were released, and it was it was almost seen as a sort of a I guess a, a temporary sort of task, a bit like we've seen with the sunflower event, where you could make all sorts of different things related to Chinese New Year. One of which was Baiju, which is still a product in the game, it's still in the game. It happened to be that the tea shop lasted quite a long time and um, there are still some floating around. Unfortunately, really hard to get hold of, really hard to buy. But there are some still available on Atomic Hub. And if you have a look here, I mean, so there's there's a, a thousand in, in over just over a thousand in supply, and most of them have been burned into the game. So the supply outside of the game is really minimal now, which is probably contributing to some of these higher prices. The lowest one that I found, and this might be gone by the time this video goes out, um, is seventy dollars five five seven wax. And um, we'll look at ROI and stuff in a bit to see whether it's worth buying these. But you can see like there's only th like three on there for around so seventy to eighty, and it's one on there for a grand. I had a look in um, the Million of Mars uh, shop in game market, and you can search tea shop here, and non-existent as you can imagine. And I suspect that's because everyone who has them are using them and quite a few people probably sort of burned several of them to get the shards that they need so really important to, to judge whether it's worth buying with your roi calculation before getting it um for me i've got one already and i've actually upgraded it to level two so it's all good however if you are still interested in you watching and if you don't have a t-shirt it's probably worth watching anyway to see what these tasks are just in case things, in case they come back in the future, because um, I suspect they will, and I think they'll be used in, in different events going forward. So that's really exciting. Before we move on, just a reminder: if you are a big fan of the content we produce around Play to Earn or Million on Mars, please do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. But without further ado, let's just quickly have a look at the shards, see how much they are um, for those who for those existing players with T-shops. So. I had a look at this the other day, really expensive, 240 dust just for one t-shirt card. Uh, so it's, it's really hard to upgrade them now if you haven't already, um, but worth knowing that just as we go through this. Cool, so you're going to want to know the statistics behind the, the kind of drive the t-shop. So first of all, it's a building size of 15, so you don't really need to worry about having to not enough space on your land, it will slot in very nicely kind of anywhere. You can see mine here says task capacity free, but that's because it's a uh, level two shot. If we take a look on the player guide, you can see this table down here, and this is really useful. And this is kind of outlined for all sorts of buildings. So do go and check it out. But you can see here it says T shot task slots. So for level one, it's one, unfortunately. Level two, it's three. That's what I've got. Level three is five, four is seven, and five is 10. Bear in mind, if you are going to buy a T-Shot, chances are you're probably not going to be able to upgrade it unless you've got quite a bit of dust floating around. You might be able to get to the second one, possibly third, but it's going to be really expensive. So it might not be worth your time and you might not be getting your ROI back anytime soon. In my opinion, the best thing about the T-Shot is this thing here, Baiju. Now, for quite some time, Baiju has been profitable. And I'll show you the spreadsheet in a moment that we typically use. It's most days profitable, some days it ranges up to about 12 dust. 
per, per task, down to about six, sometimes lower. It's always worth looking day to day because it does fluctuate. It's such a good task and it's really good. So those who have T-Shops, you should be pumping out by you because it's a nice little earner. But let's just, let's just check it out. So this one, it doesn't require any sort of level um, to be able to make, do the task. It's essentially a type of alcoholic drink that originates from China, for those who don't know. But yeah, essentially it's, it's fermented, fermented from, it's made from fermented sor sorghum. Power is minimal. You do need some ferment fermented sorghum, which is really small. I mean, because you need so little of it, you can sometimes just buy it off the market and it's no problem. You need a little bit of bamboo, some water and uh, a little bit free stamina as well. And you get some chemistry XP. It's not much, so I've been avoiding using my stamina on this task because you don't really get that much that much XP back from it. And you typically get between two and three Biodu per task. So it's quite a nice one. And then that feeds into another task called Biodu by the case, which you can then use to, you know, try and create more dust. But actually, sometimes this it's not worth going down this route. Sometimes it's worth just buying the Biodu first time around. And there is a reason for that. The reason the price of Biodu is quite high because you can use it to gain stamina. So if you come up to your um, food and drink, you can see down here, we've got a couple of different options. If we look at the happy hour one here, it requires one Biodu and two stamina. And in return, you get a little bit of dust and you get some extra stamina. So you can use the odd bit of Biodu and you can sell the rest. So that's what I do. I make probably about nine to 12 Biodu a day. On average, probably more around the sort of the nine mark. I only use like two a day because this happy hour only only appears like twice a day, I believe, within a certain time period. And you have to click on it. So you need to come back and check it. But yeah, it's a good one. And you get that stamina. That's why the price stays higher. Don't always want to go and do the Biodu by the case. But what you need to do is go to this here. This is the DG Pedro GitHub uh, ROI calculator, dust calculator. And um, what this does, and uh, we've shown this in other videos before, it basically tells you at that moment in time whether a task, whether an item is profitable to make. So really good. I've clicked on here, T-Shop, and you can see this just lists all of the all of the tasks, and you can see Biodu. You, you know, it, it ranges. It costs six to to, to make six point four dust to make, and you're getting seventeen. 65 back so you'll get a gain of 10 dust roughly and you can see it fluctuates here between 6 and 13 so that's kind of the range really useful to see and if we look down by you by the case you're actually losing money if you do that so always wise check the spreadsheet before you do it um so that's a good one what else is there so we've got mushroom tea so mushroom tea is an interesting one this is quite tricky because to do mushroom tea you need to learn the mushroom tea recipe and to be able to create mushroom tea, you also need mushrooms. So you can either buy them from the market or you can make them yourself, but you also need an additional recipe for that. In order for you to be able to get those recipes to make the mushroom tea, now mushroom tea is profitable and it's worth doing because you can also use it to get more stamina in the food and food and drink. It's an option where it gives you more stamina, so it's worth doing. I haven't got to that stage yet, so I haven't got a recipe. Um, but if you need to get a recipe, you need a library first and foremost, and you need these changes on a daily basis. These are the different possible tasks that you can get. Mushroom tea isn't on there for me, so I need to come back and keep looking for it, and the day is on there, I need to do it. Now, the problem with doing this is there's risk involved, so you need to put so many materials forward and research paper, and it takes nearly two days to come back, and the chances are you're not going to get it because the percentage involved in being successful in that is really small. I think it kind of, the mushroom, it was roughly, the mushroom recipe was, I think, like one to two percent. I think it might be the same for, for mushroom tea. So yeah, it's quite tough to get to the shop if you do manage to get the, the, um, the recipe and then you can you can trade it in and you can get it on, on uh, using the, the token you get from, from being successful doing that task. You can trade it in and actually get the recipe. There is one other way to get the recipe and that is with credits. Uh, credits are a new thing in the game and you get them from uh, doing um, leveling up your um, training hall and different things. Yeah, basically if you look in here, mushroom tea is up the top here and you can actually trade in 100 research credits, life science research credits to get mushroom tea. So there is an alternative way to get it. And um, you can see bro mushrooms on there now on 50. So you'd need both of those ideally, not necessarily because you can buy in the market, um, but yeah, that's how you get it. We're back at our, our tea shop and we're just going to have a quick flick through some of the remaining tasks. We already know that the, the, the remainder of them are profitable from the currently, to so the Digi Pedro calculator here. You can see ceramics by Yinga is just below the profitability mark. 
and the rest are, are all unprofitable. Ceramics by Yinga is quite an interesting one. Sometimes it does kind of come into, into profitability, sometimes it doesn't. And you can see here, you actually need fabrication level five to even do that. So if you're a new player, that's going to be tough to do anyway. But I, I imagine those little tea shops are going to be able to do that. But the good thing about these tasks that whilst a lot of them are unprofitable, they do return quite good XP for fabrication. So if you're looking to level up your fabrication really quickly, this is a great way to do it in the tea shop. So you can see there, 3577. We've done, I've done a video on fabricate, leveling up fabrication already. Go check that out if that's what we're into. But you can see like, the, the materials you need, regolith, that's quite an expensive material, PLA, you just need quite a lot of it and it's not, not and that's one of the reasons why it's not profitable. Aqua uh, Ares, again you need level 5 and it's not a profitable task, but it does return pretty good fab XP once again. Um, Bamboo by Skull, level 5, again you need quite a, quite a few resources to do it, 100 bamboo, 4 PLA, so it's, it's costing quite a bit and the return on dust, I mean if you're unlucky you can get zero. If you, if you're lucky, you get 64 and then you might pop but chances are, again, it's not going to be. So, yeah, not necessarily the best options. Bide you by the case as well requires fabrication of 10. You know, I've got there, but I've not done this task yet. Not been profitable since, since it's been. Perhaps that will change in the future, so it's always worth you checking yourself. And if you if we just check mushroom tea, mushroom tea doesn't require any uh, skill based level to, to do that recipe. It, uh, it just requires the recipes that we've spoken about. Neither does Baiju. So really, the only two we really care about. Are Guys, I bet I'm not the only one who's been in a situation where I'm trying to do my daily clicks, trying to play my games on wax, and I'm just running out of CPU. It's a major, major issue. How do you get around it? Well, it's really simple. There's a website called Rocket CPU, link in the description. I'm just gonna really quickly show you how to use it. Basically, you can rent CPU and it's really, really cheap, really affordable. Um, so for example, if I want to rent uh, seven days worth uh, of wax, uh, up to a value of 100 wax, I click this button and it tells me it's gonna cost me seven wax. Easy, job done. So we're now going to check out the return on investment on the tea shop. Is it worthwhile for those who haven't got one yet? Obviously, supply of tea shops is pretty limited, as we saw in the beginning of the video. Very expensive as well. We're looking at roughly about $70, 557 wax at the time of recording. That will fluctuate. So do go and do your research and check it out if you're looking to buy one of these. But as we just look at this, this spreadsheet here, sorry, need the spreadsheet, this uh, alcohol graph, we can see that 10 dusk equates to roughly about two wax. Now that is the, uh, the current estimation of average profit profit that you would earn from, from Baidu each day. I've done a small calculation. On the whole, at a maximum, I think you could realistically make probably about 12 Baidu a day if you got to level two, and then you're looking at a 46 day wait before you go to return investment. So it's not great. Um, and you've got to factor in, I haven't factored in here as well, the price of leveling up the building to level two. So that's another additional factor. Your know, return investment would be higher than this. But as you can see, it's not the best option. So I think really, I mean, my advice for those, unless you've got the money to get it, maybe it's a good investment for the future if you believe the tea shop's going to have loads of new tasks and, and be rejuvenated in some way in the future. But at the moment, it's only really good for existing players with the building. So that's the tea shop. Here I've got my cup of tea here and I'm going to enjoy this now. Um, like I just said, probably only really worth it if you've got a tea shop yourself already or you're very, very uh, excited about the possibly about the, of the tea shop having new tasks and things in the future. Um, otherwise, I'd, I'd just recommend holding on in case, in case mom do another sale of tea shops in the future. But it is a good one if you've got it. Make that buy you, make that mushroom tea. So if you've liked this video, please do subscribe and give us a thumbs up and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time for some more content.